guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Vintage Collection Rocket Firing Boba Fett. So after 30 years, Hasbro announced that they are finally making good on the original promise of a mail-away Boba Fett action figure that will fire a projectile missile. When this was first announced as a mail-away exclusive this year, I was incredibly excited. As soon as the vintage figures hit the stores, I was quick to get a hold of the needed UPCs and I mailed away for my Boba Fett action figure. And Fett has already started showing up in mailboxes and I was delighted to see that the two I ordered had already been delivered. The Fett figure comes inside of a white mailer box, of which both of mine were pretty banged up in the corners. This immediately scared me as I was worried about what the figure would look like inside that box. Opening them up, my fears were realized. Both of my Boba Fett figures did not come in the best shape. The first one I opened up, the blister bubble was completely detached from the card back. And it's very cleanly detached. It almost looks like the bubble was never even glued to the card. The second FET is also half peeled off the card back, and there's some slight bends in the card from that white mailer box. Seriously, this is incredibly disappointing. There's a good chance that this was to be a figure that many plan to keep mint on card. In fact, I ordered two with the intent of opening one and leaving the second in the box. So I hope this is not a common trend with this figure going out to everybody. Okay, let's overlook the issues with that package for just a second, because the design itself is pretty great. Just like the rest of the vintage collection, Boba Fett here comes on the vintage style card back. The thing that makes him different than the Fett in the stores is that this one is actually on the original Star Wars card back, as opposed to the Empire Strikes Back card that we're finding at retail. And of course he does not have that mail away sticker since this of course is the mail away. Now the back of that card is exactly the same as the back of the retail FET, showing off other figures in the vintage line alongside photos of their original released versions. Now the figure itself is a pretty awesome piece. He's actually based on the actual design of the vintage Boba Fett figure. The design, the paint application, and even the simple articulation of the figure all have that wonderful classic feeling. The figure, simply put, just looks awesome. And it's a really cool sensation holding a vintage style figure that is brand new with clean paint and tight articulation. Now it is worth noting that that jetpack does cause the figure to be quite top heavy. He will not stand on his own, at least not without being bent forward quite a bit. So if you want to display him loose, you definitely need a figure stand. But Fett here does actually perfectly fit on the current Star Wars figure stands that are included with the Clone Wars and basic Star Wars figures. So let's take a look at the selling point of this figure, that rocket firing backpack. If you're a longtime Star Wars fan, then you know that the original Fett figure was promised to have this rocket firing projectile. But when he showed up in everyone's mailbox, that rocket was glued in and did not fire. So now Hasbro has finally given us this feature. And it's actually kind of cool how it works out. There's a small half missile that you can place in his backpack when displaying Fett. But when you're ready to play with him, pull out that small missile and grab this full size missile. Once inserted, there's a small button on the back to push that sends the rocket firing. And it's a pretty powerful shot too. So let's compare Fett here to the original. When you stand them side by side, you can actually see some subtle differences. 
he's actually taller, more in scale with the current figures. His legs are a bit longer, his chest mold seems slightly different. You know, I thought this would be exactly the same as the original, you know, just recasted. But seeing them side by side, I'm starting to think it's actually a new mold, sculpted to resemble the vintage figure. But I'm not entirely sure of that. But there's some definite differences here just looking at them. This really is an awesome mail away. The figure itself is absolutely fantastic. But I have to be perfectly honest and say that the issues with the damaged packaging really hurt my overall feeling of this. Like I said earlier, I have no doubt that many plan to buy these and leave them mint on card. If everyone has the same issues as me, then there's going to be a lot of angry people. I hate having to say this, because the figure itself is great, but the issues with the card back are a huge disappointment. Fed is only available for a limited time, so get out there and collect those UPCs before he's gone for good. Until next time. Thank you.